the Philippines' longest and first ever eight-car train set built by the Japan Transport Engineering Corporation or JTREC and designed by Sumitomo Corporation has arrived in the Philippines on November 21, 2021 for the 148 kilometers Clark Calamba Railway, which is called the North-South Commuter Railway. But what exactly is this train all about? Actually, a total of 360 train cars, or 45, eight-car train sets, have been procured this year, 2021, to operate for the North-South Commuter Railway. Of these 360 train cars, 304 train cars, or 38 train sets are commuter trains, while 56 train cars, or 7 train sets are limited express trains for the Airport Express, which will run both ways from Clark International Airport in Mabalacat, Pampanga, to Alabang Station in Metro Manila. In 2019, Another 104 train cars, or 13 train sets, were procured. These are the eight-car Sestina commuter train sets, to be built by the Japan Transport Engineering Company, or JTREC. That means that a total of 464 train cars, or 58 train sets, are expected to operate for the North-South Commuter Railway once fully operational. The NSCR project, also known as the Clark Calamba Railway, is a 148-kilometer urban rail transit that will run from New Clark City in Capastarla to Calamba, Laguna, with 37 stations and a total of 464 train cars once fully operational. Uh, we just welcome everyone uh, to the bid opening of NSCR NSO2 contract package. Uh, for the procurement of 38 unit eight car formation trains. This is the first time we've done this. We've done this in 2019 and we included the bidding for the first batch of 13 train sets in eight car formation now. NS03 or the limited express rolling stock procurement it covers the delivery of seven train sets of eight car formations. The Tokyo Car Corporation, which is now the Japan Transport Engineering Company, or JTREC once constructed diesel multiple units and locomotive hauled trains for the Manila Railroad Company, which is now called the Philippine National Railways. The Tokyo Car Corporation first built JMC Class DMU trains together with Mitsubishi Heavy Industries for its short-range services in 1955. In 1968 a daily train commuter service to San Fernando Pampanga was launched using the MC300 cars also built by Tokyo. A second batch of CMC class trains were ordered for the ex expanded Metro Manila commuter service to Angeles City. The train sets arrived in batches between 1974 and 1976. By the mid and late 1980s long-haul commuter services, such as those leading to Pampanga, were cut due to a lack of funding and political instability. The North-South Commuter Railway train sets, which adopted a new red, orange color, have been designated as EM-10,000 class in October 2021. These train sets are based on existing Japanese designs similar to East Japan Railway Company's E233 series and E235 series. E235 series also belong to the Sestina train models. Each train is composed of eight cars, expandable to ten. At its base form, it is twice longer than the four-car trains of the LRTEA 2000 class of 2003, which is used by LRT2, its closest counterpart in Metro Manila. 
The overall car length is at 160 meters for 8 car models and 200 meters for the full 10 car expanded set. The design has also been adopted to standard gauge track, which is like the trains operated by Bangkok's Purple Line. Bangkok's Purple Line is 23 kilometers long, serving northwestern part of Bangkok and Nintabori Province, with trains running at 80 kilometers per hour with three car train sets. In rail transport, Track gauge is the distance between the two rails of a railway track. All trains on a rail network must have wheel sets that are compatible with the track gauge. Since many different track gauges exist worldwide, gauge differences can make a problem for trains that do not conform to the designed gauge of a railway. The E233 series and E235 series trains being used by the JR East Company have a track gauge of 1067 mm or 1.067 meters, while in modern usage, the term standard gauge refers to 1435 mm or 1.435 meters. Standard gauge is used in most countries worldwide. The north-south commuter railway trains are also designed to be interoperable with the Metro Manila subway. This is because the Metro Manila subway will be an integral part of the north-south commuter railway. The Metro Manila subway will join the north-south commuter railway from the Bikutan station all the way to Calamba Station. So on the NSCR, there will be three services in operation. Firstly, we have the Limited Express, which runs from Alabang with limited stops up to CIA. We then have the NSCR commuter service that runs from Calamba all the way to CIA with a spur off at Tutaban. And finally, we have a connection with the Manila subway project at Bikutan. So trains running on the Manila subway will join the NSCR alignment at Bikutan and the service will continue down to Kalamba. The first batch of the commuter trains arrived on November 21, 2021. A mock-up model of the commuter train was delivered to the Philippines from Japan in August 2021. The EM-10,000 class train built by the Japan Transport Engineering Company, or JTREC, for the North-South Commuter Railway runs at a maximum speed of 120 km per hour with roof-mounted air conditioning units and with a car body of lightweight stainless steel, which is typical of JTREC's Sestina model trains. Each train car is 20 meters long with a width of 2.95 meters, or almost 3 meters. Although the NSCR is designed to operate at 160 kilometers per hour even under heavy traffic, the commuter trains themselves are limited to a maximum speed of 120 kilometers per hour. Allowances have been considered for the future adoption of Automatic Train Operation, ATO. Automatic Train Operation, ATO, is an operational safety enhancement device used to help automate the operation of trains. The degree of automation is indicated by the grade of automation, GOA, up to GOA Level 4 where the train is automatically controlled without any staff meaning no driver on board. Station platforms will have platform screen doors, which will only open after the train doors open for safe boarding. The platform screen doors, half-height platform screen doors, will be provided for all stations on MCRP, NSRP South, NSCR. However, at CIA, which is an underground station, full-height PSDs will be provided. 